Hello everyone. In this video, I will discuss about structure of DNA. So without any delay, let's start the video. So first of all, the DNA stands for here D for the deoxyribose, N for the nucleic, and A for the acid. So if you combine these three words, it will make deoxyribonucleic acid so dna stands for deoxyribonucleic acid and what is dna so dna is a genetic material which is present in all of the organisms or you can say the most of the organisms and is required for the development and the functioning of that particular organism now let's discuss the structure of dna dna is consist of two strands and these strands are coiled with each other the outer portion is known as the you can say helix of sugar phosphate while interior is formed of the basis these two strands they, they run in anti parallel direction what it means that one strand run in 5 dash to 3 dash while other strand runs in opposite direction so these two are anti parallel now if you look closely into the backbone or you can say the dna structure so you will find that dna is consists of a nucleotide and nucleotide is formed of this sugar phosphate and a nitrogenous base here the sugar and phosphate makes the backbone while the nitrogenous base they make the interior of dna now this is the structure of dna you can say the straight structure of dna here the as i told the center is formed of the nitrogenous bases while the backbone is consist of sugar and phosphate molecules now as i told nucleotide means the dna is made of the nucleotide so what a nucleotide is nucleotide consist of a deoxyribose sugar to which c1 position nitrogen base has been attached and there is phosphate group attached to its other end so this is the structure of a nucleotide now as the sugar i discussed that is deoxyribose so what it means in case of ribose sugar there is a oxygen atom at the c2 position but in case of deoxyribose this oxygen atom has been removed there is only hydrogen atom so that's are known as two deoxyribose so this is the sugar which present in the dna now the next nitrogenous base is so there are purines or pyrimidines purines are consist of adenine and guanine while pyrimidines they consist of thymine your cytosine and uracil so these are the nitrogen bases present in dna except one the uracil is present only in the rna now the base pairing in dna so these two are the strands of dna so there is a base pairing between adenine and thymine and cytosine and guanine but the difference between the, between the uh, number of double bonds in case of guanine and cytosine there are three bonds while in case of thymidine and adenine base pairing there are only two bonds between them now if you look into the structure of dna so dna as i told it consists of a backbone which is formed of sugar and phosphate molecule the interior consists of the base pairs like adenine guanine cytosine thymidine and the diameter of dna molecule is 20 angstrom the distance between two nitrogen bases is 3.4 angstrom while the distance between one turn of this dna molecule consists of 34 angstrom and it has 10 base pairs due to the coiling of strands over each other there is a creation of major and minor groups and these are the groups where the other molecules they attach with the dna so this is all about the structure of dna guys so that's all for today guys see you in the next video